I think it's fair to say the hardcore mode definitely has a lot of issues which overall just make it unenjoyable and makes players not want to play it. In this video we're going to look at what these issues are and how they could be fixed in the future. Now since hardcore has so many issues we're going to be categorizing them into before the game, the duration of the game and the aftermath of the game. Got it? Good. Let's begin. Now the first major issue with hardcore starts before we even begin the game, which is the elevators. Every other mode in the game now has matchmaking support, but for whatever reason, hardcore never got that treatment. This makes trying to get a specific map very tedious and can waste a lot of time before you can even get into the game. The solution to this is very simple. Just add matchmaking. Imagine next to the elevators is a statue of the Void Reaver that you can click on and it teleports you to a voting lobby, but it's different from the normal one. It's dark and creepy and the normal upbeat lobby music is replaced with the more ominous slowed down version wouldn't that just be awesome all right so now we've got that out of the way you think it's time to discuss the gameplay right wrong the next issue with hardcore is a lack of maps we can play on as of now there are a total of nine maps we can play it on yes out of the 52 maps in the game we can play on nine of them do i need to explain how boring that makes it it limits the replayability so much for no real reason other than making it easier for us to get the two maps anyone will actually be playing the mode on the solution could easily tie into matchmaking have the maps we currently use be in the survival rotation but let vips choose any map they want this could create so much more replayability and create challenges that would drive anyone into insanity um while i was in this video they actually added a few maps to hardcore so a uh, good Good job TDS. Okay, surely now we can talk about the gameplay, right? Nope. My final issue with pre-game hardcore is the amount of players. Having only three players be able to do hardcore is just annoying because it limits the possibilities you can have in the mode. Four players would allow for a lot more towers to be used, allowing for a larger variety of play styles and would just make it overall more enjoyable. You might argue that having three players makes it more difficult than four, and although that's true, you can beat it solo, so I don't think there's any issue there. Okay, I know that was a lot, but now we can finally move on to the gameplay. The first issue with hardcore is the it isn't really the hardcore at all. Most of the waves are just filler waves, which aren't really difficult. I mean, look at the first 11 waves. They are literally just a slightly harder faller mode. And even the unique waves, like with balloons, aren't hard as long as you have the right towers. The only really difficult waves are waves 20 with the mega slow, wave 25 with the shadow bosses, wave 45 with, well, everything, and wave 50 with the final boss. It really just ends up being an easy mode with an occasional difficulty spike. It just gets rid of the only appeal of hardcore, which is that it's well hard. To fix this, I just made the increase in difficulty more gradual and natural rather than just having an easy mode with occasional difficulty spikes. Each wave should be harder than the last and filler waves should be minimized to as little as possible. This would give an actual challenge and make it very stressful since players would have less breathing time between hard waves. The next issue is the link. Due to all the filler waves, the mode is really dragged out, and a normal game takes around 40 to 50 minutes. As well as making grinding hardcore incredibly time consuming, it also makes it very restrictive on when you can play it. Let's say I have 20 minutes until dinner is ready. I could play a quick game of Molten or Fallen, but there's no way I could play a game of hardcore. To fix this, I think hardcore should have 40 concise and challenging waves that take 20 to 30 minutes and reward 200 gems, rather than having a tedious 50 waves. The next issue is the lack of flexibility. Due to hardcore having lead, flyings and hiddens, there is a massive limitation on what you can bring, especially for the lead balloons. As of now, there are only 9 towers that can kill these guys, and not to mention all the support towers that are also required. This really limits the towers we can use. This means that players never really can experiment with their loadouts, and mainly just are forced to bring the meta ones, which makes it very boring very quickly. To solve this, I think we just need an increase in towers with multiple users since it's quite random which towers have these detections. So we finally killed the Void Reaver, but the issues don't stop there. The main issue is that it only rewards gems. Although it's cool that there are towers you can unlock exclusively from Hardcore, the issue is that there's not enough stuff to get from it. Once you have Accelerator, Engineer, and Necromancer, there is zero point to playing the game except to stack up on gems for new towers or to have fun. But as we've realized, it's not fun. This just makes the mode rather pointless. I've occasionally thought about wanting to do a Hardcore game, but I'd rather just grind for gold crates. Now, I have three potential solutions to hardcore. The first solution is just add more hardcore towers, whether it be mecha base, war machine, hacker, whatever. I think just having a few more would be really nice. And the second one, I think, is that hardcore could benefit from a potential gem crate. It could give really cool flashy skins, possibly fitting with the purple gem and fallen theme. 
They can cost about four to 500 gems each and will allow for really sick elite skins, which give players a lot more reason to grind. And my final solution is award coins as well. Imagine upon beating the game, you get the choice between claiming coins or gems, which would allow for you to grind for gold crates whilst being able to play hardcore. I mean, that would just be a win-win for everyone. But what do you think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you think I'm right? Does hardcore need work? Or do you think I'm an idiot because you love hardcore? I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Maybe you enjoy the Discord server. Link in the description below. But until next time, goodbye.